Hey guys, Colin Rojas here with Rojas Woodworking. Today we're going to be going over part five in the CNC DIY vacuum table process. In part four, we went over carving the vacuum grid into your vacuum grid material, whether that's MDF, uh, HDPE, or phenolic. There's many different uh, materials that you can use for your vacuum grid. Me in particular, um, as stated in previous videos, uh, I'm using HDPE. <clears throat> but anyways, now that your vacuum grid is carved into your material, we need to seal the outer edges of each phase or the outer edge of your grid if you do not have multiple phases carved into your vacuum grid. <clears throat> if none of this is making sense, I refer you to my previous videos where I talked about um, how you can design your vacuum grid table with many different phases depending on your needs. When you choose your grid gasket, uh, make sure that it is the same shape as the grid that you carved. So as talked about in my previous video, I used a flat bottom end mill, which created a square channel. So when you're wanting to buy gasket material to seal the outer edge of your um, vacuum grid, you want to make sure that it is square. But however, if you carved your vacuum grid with a bit that created a circular or half circle um, channel, then you would want to get a vacuum grid that is more circular. I used a quarter inch square gasket from a company called All Star CNC. This company is your one stop shop for all of your CNC gasket and clamping needs. You can check them out at the link below. Now let's head out to the shop and install the grid gasket. 